Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another brand new episode of Unauthor Blocks. We are over here in the shopping district because today we are not going to be working on a shop, but if you saw the last episode where we worked on our uh, bridges and paths over in our castle project area, I said at the end of the episode that we will be working on a more permanent place for the nether portal there because obviously with the 1.16 update soon to be coming out we will be at some point updating to 1.16 and a new nether so of course that means we're gonna have a really beautiful looking nether hub on the other side once we get all the new biomes and stuff in could be really really cool and i was thinking this shopping district this main town area is looking super super nice if we just jump on top of this mountain here it's a really good place to view the shopping area from just look at all these amazing builds around and about the place this whole area is super super cool definitely the coolest shopping area that i've been on a server with and mighty high has done this incredible build here i wanted to show this off at the start of this episode like this is just monumental it dwarves the eagle and anvil skyscraper which i thought was huge but just look at this thing it is mega i can't wait to see what mighty does with that but as I said, I think the shopping area, which, by the way, is everything from, like, this river that way, um, is shopping apart from my base, which is just in the mountains over there, but that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I thought it would could do with having a really cool-looking portal area, and I'm sort of known for doing my medieval-type builds, you know, like my... If, you, if we, for example, just jump up over here, you know... The medieval towns, my castle, that sort of thing. So I want to sort of break away from that style a bit in this episode and see what I can do with a completely different block palette. And as I said in the um, previous episode, I was hugely inspired seeing Grey's Record Store here. And I wanted to do something, not in the same style, but he broke away from his normal style to do this. And I want to break away from my normal style. So I've sort of hijacked uh, Grey's Furnaces here. To cook up some smooth stone. I will be repaying his coal that he left in here with some free coal from my coal shop. And I've run out of rockets. But anyway, I've spent my morning getting together some grey concrete. Because I think this could be an interesting build palette for our design. So obviously we've got the coal mole right here. And I'm thinking that we should build uh, on top of the coal mole the portal area. Should be up here. It looks over everything. You can fly into it. There'll be a staircase going up there. And it will just look super, super nice, I think. So, I need to start laying out what we're going to have. And I want this to sort of like... Uh, have a bit of depth to it, that sort of thing. So, if we have, for instance, this here coming... Maybe up a bit higher than the mole itself. Maybe... How about we do it to this height? sort of here could be cool and then we take maybe like a five block gap so one two three four five and then we have another pillar just here like so and this be the height where it is and we have a the smooth stone here coming in along there and having this sort of be the the idea and it is, it is looking pretty interesting, I won't lie. That is looking pretty nice, having that there. Uh, I think it'll look a bit cooler once we have it built up a bit more. I'm tempted to raise that up even higher, just so we can get a bit more of the uh, terrain in under, so it doesn't look like it's just a build coming off of the coal shop. So what if we were to, say, raise this up another, like, two blocks, maybe, so it's sort of this height. Um, how does this look when we get this in here? And build up the other side as well. Like so. How does this look in comparison? Yeah, I think having it a bit higher up is looking a bit better. And then we can do something with that space under there. But if we have that coming all the way along that goes over there. And that, because a great, I watched Grey's episode after... Uh, I finished recording my last episode and he said that he maybe had plans for having shot his sh another shop coming off the roof of this shop and I thought that was a really interesting idea and it looks like he's sort of laid something out already and I thought that was a really cool idea so I was thinking if, having, if he was going to have a shop there having uh, the main portal area come in sort of at this height with his shop there 
you can have a staircase leading down to where his shop is there. Because also there is another staircase over the other side of this uh, record shop where you can come up and down. So I'm thinking we could like connect all of this together. But I like the idea of having like low, like tiered shops. It could be kind of cool. Uh, a cool use of this mountain area should look really nice. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to come in here and essentially chop away at this landscape a bit more. And just come in and sort of lay out the basic sort of idea behind this whole area. And sort of try and get together a bit of a nice looking uh, thing there. And have the staircase coming up here. I don't know how tall this staircase will actually need to be. It's going to be quite a tall staircase, I think. But... I mean, hopefully when this dirt spoiler box is gone, I don't know how much space is between the edge. Like, I'm really hoping the edge of the build is just not straight there. And I'm hoping that it's a bit further inside the box. Just so the staircase isn't that uh, close in. It doesn't really matter if it is. But it's an interesting, interesting idea, certainly. So if we, yeah, sort this all out and work out what we're going to do. So we've made some really good progress and I'm loving how this is coming out. And... Yeah, it's it's making way for what is gonna be quite a quite a grand build, I think. I may have like slightly outdone my expectations here, and I really hope Grey doesn't mind with what I've done. But yeah, I'm liking how it's looking so far, and if we go up the stairs, I've decided to make the stairs out of stone, just because it's pretty just a bland uh, path material. But if we just jump up here. We've got a, a nice little courtyard area, and I'm thinking what if we have like some lampposts uh, coming out of these uh, spots here to sort of light up the area. Have a bit of a railing here, maybe out of iron bars, maybe out of something else. We're going to work on that. And then, of course, you've got the uh, other staircase coming down here onto Grey's roof area. That fits in really nicely with what we've been doing. And I can't help but feel that it should be made of stone bricks rather than stone. But that is something we should do. But I'm also thinking, with this mountain, maybe we should chisel it back a bit. Make it... I don't know. I'm I'm twisted. Because what we could do is if we just jump up on top of the mountain here. If we were to carve this back ever so slightly to, like, here. Then maybe we could have sort of a diagonal staircase going up to my area. But also, no. Not a massive fan of that. But it also feels just a bit odd to leave it with the staircase. I've fallen. Oh no. But maybe we should channel it back a little bit but try and keep the natural look of it. But then there's going to be a big grand facade building here um, with a portal in the center which could end up looking really nice but hello we've got this wandering trader here. We could buy a grey head, mighty head. Some other stuff. Nothing particularly interesting to me so thank you for your time. But yeah, I'm really liking how this has turned out so far. It sort of just makes this hillside come alive a bit more. So I am going to work on the lampposts and that sort of thing and see how it turns out. Also, just as a second thought, it's quite grey at the minute. And the sort of unorthoblox colours are purple and green. So I might try and mix in some of those uh, purple and green colours into this with maybe some concrete or some terracotta or... Maybe even some glass, that sort of thing. Could end up looking super cool. I'm going to give it a playthrough and I will catch you back once I've given given it a bit of a go. Okay, so I've made some really, really good progress with this thing. And you can probably see up there. I have added... Right. I have added in some colour, some purple. Because obviously this is where the portal's going to be. So I wanted to add in some purple to sort of signify that. I think I'm going to use purple glass windows in the build that I'm going to do. But yeah, it's looking super nice. I've got these uh, redstone blocks hidden by trapdoors. Adds a little bit of detail and it provides a light above because I've got some redstone lamps up there. As for the staircase, I just made this simple thing with some uh, just some very flat colours. It's, it's pretty hidden by this, so it doesn't really need to look that great. But yeah, we come up here, we've got the purple once again. And we'll come all the way to the top. We've got our redstone lamps all the way around and some railings, as you can see. We've got this guy here. Oh my god, there's three of them. Alright, let's get them before I explain what the next thing we're going to do is. So the next thing we're going to do is actually build the portal location itself. That is going to go 
uh, where these markers are here and I'm envisioning sort of like two pillars coming up here with a portal in the middle then two smaller pillars with like a peaked roof in between them but it sort of looks a bit like a town hall maybe I don't know but that's the sort of idea and I'm gonna build it out of some pretty like non-conventional blocks that I don't use that often so let me fly up here uh, I'm planning to use some andesite and uh, some granite and bricks and also there's a wandering trader though interesting um, but also some quartz and some diorite so it should end up looking interesting I don't know if it will turn out particularly spectacular but I'm looking forward to start building it but yeah I think I'm just gonna uh, get working crack on a bit and see what we can do okay so I've just destroyed the old portal and you should be able to see peeking through is our new build and I really like how this came out it's completely different from the style that I usually do so if I fly maybe on top of the nether warp block here you can sort of see it it looks pretty nice and yeah it's quartz pillars diorite granite and bricks with a bit of purple glass and it looks kind of nice I quite like it I really do uh, the vertical pillars make it seem a lot taller than it actually is and the purple glass brings out uh, the portal which we shall light now and yes just look at that that is looking pretty darn nice if you ask me I'm really liking it and I think yeah I think it's pretty much there it's nestled into the landscape quite well it allows us to have um, obviously, so maybe another build in this corner. Obviously, go down to Gray's area. It allows us to stack more shops here and there. And then, obviously, the thing we want to see is the view when you come out the portal into the shopping district. It's just so much better than having the little portal down there. It looks super, super nice. But this is the moment of truth. Did it sink correctly? Oh, let's hope it did. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, it did. It synced absolutely correctly to the shopping portal so now no everyone should be uh, not too confused as to how to find this place I'm 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 happy it's turned out well let's see how it looks coming up these stairs here yeah from the side it looks fine and over here if it looks fine let's have a fly fly by and just to make sure it looks all cool yeah it looks really nicely nestled into the uh, landscape there and I'm super happy with it I didn't think it would turn out this nice I'm happy it's a different style that I usually go for and it's cool I like it I really do so now the next thing to do is maybe to add in uh, just a few finishing touches around about the place um, I don't know really what else to add but if you have a look at the uh, in fact our lighting isn't too off to be fair it's not too bad. There's a couple spots mob can, mobs can spawn. But if we were to just add in a couple light light sources here and there, it could be alright. But I'm, I'm going to keep plugging away at this and then get back to you once it's completely done. So the final details are in big thanks. Oh, he's gone off. But big thanks to Mighty for providing me with a bit of the quartz and the obsidian. Uh, to finish this off, I've got to say that in the last clip. But as you can see... I have bone meal up a bit, hidden a lantern back here, or well, not really hidden, just put a lantern back here and put some lanterns there and there and hidden some lighting under these uh, pot plants here with some benches just to add something a little bit just to create, uh, keep the area from looking a bit more plain and this thing is looking super nice, I'm super happy with how this has turned out if we do a quick flyover, it is just looking pretty nice and a lovely addition to the shopping district I think and once we get some more stuff like this in the area it could end up looking really nice it may look a little plain just from the big uh, gray slab but I, I like that it's like it's a very clean build if we go up to the teacup up here with our cow um, and we look down yes it's a bit plain in the bottom it's very clean and we got quite a nice high-end build there and it just looks nice we got this going down onto Gray's shop, which can be funneled down there as well, for Gray to do his thing. But as for me, I am done for today, and damn, that is just looking super nice. It's even more funny now the mole is poking his head out from underneath it. I think it looks cool, and that is the new home for the Unorthoblox portal. But anyway, 
Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Normal Blocks. If you want to see how this area became what it is today, there are all the Unalter Block members in the description below, including myself, remember, to watch all of our videos, and legend has it, some new members might be joining the server soon, so I believe one has already joined, named the Neon Ghost, I believe that's the name, Neon, um, anyway, that is pretty, pretty super cool, I'll need to uh, update my descriptions now to add his channel in, but go and show him some love, but... I'm happy with how this turned out today. I hope you guys are too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.